Hi everybody, this is Longbeard180, and I will be doing my top 5 scary PC and Mac games. Uh, I just recently started playing scary games uh, with my friends, or by myself if I get daring enough, and I've decided, since I use, to, uh, uh, since I watch so many other top 5 scary uh, videos on YouTube, that I would make one of my own. So, here we go. Coming in on my number 5 slot would be Amnesia The Dark Descent. Uh, this game was developed by Frictional Games and can be got, and you can get it just on Steam uh, or their website and that runs for about $20 although they have a free demo. Um, works on both a Windows computer or a Mac. And its release date was in September 8th, 2010, as a survivor ho survival horror game, sorry, single player. Uh, I only have played the demo of this, but the demo is just enough to see that it's a great game. Uh, the difference about it from the other ones, and why it's in my number 5, is that it actually costs a lot of money. Uh, $20 is the retail price for this game, besides the free demo. Um, it's good, it's scary, but I played free games coming up later in my top five that are much more scary. Coming up in my number four spot is a game called Witch. Uh, often mistaken for Witch, W-I-T-C-H. This game, Witch, W-H-I-C-H, is an indie scary game. Uh, I played it, it's available for PC only, it's a free game, you can download it. Uh, the way I downloaded it was just off of a link on another YouTube video of some gameplay for it. Not many people have played it, and I can't find any info on it. And that's kind of scary all on its own. I did beat the game, um, it actually has multiple endings. Um, it's really well made, and you'll never see graphics like it. I'm not saying that because they're really good or really bad, I'm saying that because they're unique. Um, the contrast is weird. It's almost black and white. And you can't see that far ahead of you, and it just has a really creepy feeling when you're playing it. Coming in at my number three spot in my top five scariest games would be a game called Mental Hospital. This is another indie game. I can't find much info about it. Uh, graphics are all right. It, um, it's available on PC only. It's another free game. Just download it. Um, very scary. This game has plenty of jump scares, plenty of just weird stuff that gets you in the mood. Uh, you can walk into rooms and the lights will go out, and uh, when the lights come back on, everything's in a different place. And lots of jump scares, and it's just the pitch black. Uh, rooms and hallways that really freak you out, and then um, the ga the goal of the game is to actually escape the um, mental hospital uh, without using up all of your ammunition, and you start with three bullets, or er, and also, um, of course, not dying. Uh, this is kind of interesting because usually the best horror games don't involve weapons. However, this one is an exception. The only reason it's not higher on my top five is because it's very glitchy. Coming in at my number two spot would be Slender Man's Shadow. This is actually an unofficial spin-off of the game Slender, um, and it runs off of donations. Uh, it says that for every $150 donated, um, the two creators will produce a new map. Um, currently, right now, I'm pretty sure it has nine or eleven maps, um, including a mental hospital, an elementary school, a mansion, dark street, prison. Um, the reason I think this is better than Slender is not only because it has way more maps, better graphics, 
guess those are the only two main reasons, but... Um, demo is free. It can be ran, ran on Mac or PC, coming with two maps. Or you can buy the full edition for Mac or PC for five, uh, $5. This is a great deal for this game. And finally, drum roll please. Coming in at my number one spot in my top five scariest games of all time is Baby Blues. Baby Blues is a game for the PC and it's free to play. You can download it off the website and it is the scariest game I have ever played. Basically, you play as a toddler or a baby, and your goal is simply to get out of your crib and go through your house, unlocking room by room and finding your nine teddy bears, and then running back to your crib. Sounds easy? Well, it is. Um, although it's easy, it's going to scare you to death. Um, lots of jump scares, lots of just eerie things going on. Uh, I don't want to give away too much, but I'm telling you, you have to try it. It is... I've never played any game that even can, comes close to being as scary. That is Baby Blues, my number one choice. Thank you for watching my top five scariest games of all time. Um, please stay tuned for more top five videos that I might be making, I'm not sure yet. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. This has been Longbeard180. Thank you.